Hey everybody, welcome back. So I guess I lied to myself. I said I'd never do it again, but I guess I was wrong. Yep, that's right. I bought me a package of bees. I once said last year I was never going to buy bees again. I was just going to catch swarms. But I lied to myself. Um, my local bee supply store, they had several extra packages for sale. And I figured, why not? Went and purchased me a package of carnelians. So we're going to see how they fare out for me this year. But before I install these girls into their new home, I'm going to give them an oxalic acid vapor treatment to knock any varroa mites in the butt. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a hive set up. I've got the solid bottom board already down here on the bottom. And a deep hive body. And I've set three frames in here. That way I can put this package right on top of these three frames. That way when I'm doing the vapor treatment, it's not blowing right into the package. It's coming up from underneath of them. And then over the top of them, I'm going to set another empty deep. And then I'll put my top cover on here, which is just a piece of plywood for the moment. And now I'm ready to do the oxalic acid vapor treatment. I also want to add that today is kind of an overcast, rainy, cool day here in southwest Iowa. So I'm not too worried about the bees overheating inside the hive. And I'm also doing this inside of my garage. Um, that way I can stay dry in the process and uh, I'll probably let them sit in here overnight with the, the oxalic acid vapor and then first thing tomorrow I'll go ahead and release them into the hive. And just a quick disclaimer here, um, I don't suggest using oxalic acid vapor in a confined space like a garage. You really need to be in a well-ventilated area. And uh, I also don't suggest um, treating your packages. Uh, this is just what I'm doing, um, mainly for entertainment purposes and uh, just to see how things go. So with that said, on with the show. Okay, so it's the next day. It's a beautiful day out here today. Uh, nice and sunny. Uh, it's probably about 65 degrees. I've already got my hive set up here. Uh, I was lucky enough. I've already got pre-drawn foundation. Uh, I got some, some empty frames here that aren't drawn yet. And I went ahead and removed three. Um, you might need a nail or something and uh, you'll probably need some one-to-one -one sugar water and you want to start off just spray your bees down a little bit not too much just enough to get them to clump together give them a
And what that does, it dislodges them from their cluster because they're, they're all clustered up here. And this thing has two little clips. Lift those up. It should slide, pops off. And then you want to secure your, your queen cage, your little tab here, and lift up their feed. And pull your queen out. Now you could probably leave your feet out if you want. So you want to check on your queen, make sure she's okay. Let's see. If I can get a... Okay, so you want to make make sure your queen's okay, that she ain't dead in there. And if it's cold, you might want to put her in your pocket. That way you can keep her warm. So after you remove your queen and you make sure she's okay, there'll be a cork in the one side and sometimes there'll be um, some uh, fondant or something behind there uh, it looks to me like this is just a cork so I'm gonna pull this cork out and make sure that I don't release the queen Of course, this cork is going to prove difficult for me. You know, things never go as smoothly as you want them when you want them to go smoothly. Okay, so I'm going to Pull that cork out, make sure she doesn't get out, and I have a little mini marshmallow. I'm going to put that marshmallow in there. And that'll act as my timed release. I'm just going to set her right back here. Now these cages, they have these little tabs. If you got a screwdriver or your hive tool, pop these little tabs open. And that door will open up just like this. like that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back out of there. some shakes and you can set this right in front of your hive and reinstall your frames
but you want to take your your queen cage I'm gonna use this little tab kind of hold her up I'm gonna stick her in the middle but you want to leave the screen open and your your candy plug facing down Just push your frames together. Just install the rest of the frames. You're good to go. It's that easy. I say this like I've done it before, but I've actually never installed a package until now. I want to share my experience with everybody. All right, so they're already banning. They're like, hey, this is our new home. That's a good deal. Most of them out there. Oh. Also wanted to go ahead and throw a pollen patty on here for these girls. Shift telescoping cover. And they're good to go. I'll come back here in about three days and see, make sure the queen's been released. And uh, hopefully they decide to stay here and make this their new home. All right, so here's a little bonus footage. I went ahead and popped the package apart um, after I installed my bees. Uh, to see what kind of a mite drop I had on the bottom of this package after treating and I wanted to show everyone all the mites that I found and if you look here there's two mites right there I believe yep there's another one right there here's some more two three here's another one here's three, three more this is ex exactly why I decided to treat this package there's one in there one right there some more let's see you know, by this drone bee here. You know, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can get a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just too many to the count. And they're everywhere. Another one right there. Let's see if I can get zoomed in on that. That's your pesky varroa mite that a lot of us beekeepers are battling. Here's another one. So. That's why I decided to treat with oxalic acid vapor before I installed my bees. Um, especially that I had just finished my uh, treatments on my other hives. I just didn't want these girls 
spreading that stuff around. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.